Wutwa family, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wutwa, and today, 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 man, we're about to get into this video. It's called Ex Muslim Makes Okay, Dr. Zach and Knight Storm Off Stage, man. I wonder what he said, man. Let's get into it now. Remember, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Wutwa family. Before we get started, started, put a like on this video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section and let me know, and I will get to it, man. Let's go ahead and get into this reaction. It's mic number two, this question oh. number two. Okay, uh, Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, my name is Adnan Jahangir. I am a medical student, and uh, I'm an atheist, but this lecture has convinced me otherwise that uh, Assalamu alaikum is one of the best greetings. My, <laughs> my question is how. You're an atheist yes. or a Muslim? No, I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm an atheist, ex Muslim. You you were a Muslim, now you're an atheist. Okay, brother, go ahead. All right. My question is of two parts. First one, what is the stance of Islam on evolution? And two, what is the stance of Islam on apostates? The first one, it's how, do you, how does Islam deal with evolution when, I'm, as I'm a medical student, my professors, when they show me the skulls of how humans have evolved throughout millions of years from Homo habilis to Homo erectus to us Homo sapiens and when they show proof of how evolution has taken place over the years how do you disprove that when there when it is fact it is not theory or a hypo it is not a hypothesis anymore it is fact how do you disprove that if you could answer it with the Jangir has asked a question that what is the Islamic view on theory of evolution and brother if I reply to you then will you come back to the fold of Islam if it's a convincing enough answer it's not possible at all there are many books written against Darwin theory now just because today because there is no substantial fact that's the reason in school yet you teach about Darwin theory but if you read the latest researches most of the scholars most of the scholars today do not believe in Darwin's theory as a whole to be correct. No scientist today yet believes. Very few, there may be few. But the majority, they disagree that we have been created from apes. And that's what the Quran says, that we believe in the theory of creation, not in the theory of evolution. The theory of creation, not the theory of evolution. Or rather, I should say the fact of creation. Hope that answers the question, brother. No. Hope that answers the question, brother. No. So where, where was the question? What did you not understand? What you say, it is true. It was true. 150 years ago, it was true. It's not Darwin's theory anymore. 150 years of research has said that it's not once. He was just the one who started the ideology of evolution. It has gone over loads, 150 years worth of research with the latest scientific advancements that it's not what you're saying when my professor shows me proof it's not just from apes which is completely certain when you see proof how the common cold evolves evolves um, pathogenic like when it changes its its own morphology just to um, keep up to date with today's vaccines it's evolving it defense mechanisms against um, today's latest vaccine brother, that's the evolution one thing. right there let me tell you one thing it's not darwin's theory let anymore. me tell you one thing brother i am a medical doctor and there are many researches being done if it turns out to be a fact it has to come in the medical college it is Even, in medical college it, i'm thought it is in you, university sorry i'm thought evolution in university it's not, not in school anymore i'm talking about medical university you learn about theories and researches even in medical you learn about theories and researches once it becomes the fact it comes into textbooks of medicine i don't know of any textbook of medicine in any college in the world which says that we have been we have been evolved it is all these are theories and i know the research is being done even darwin's theory never came in the medical textbook and even what you're talking about i know there are new and new researches being coming on but none of them yet has proved it to be a fact of evolution the the statement by itself theory of evolution means it's a theory so by english language itself you don't have to be a researcher when you say theory it's a theory when the theory becomes the fact it changes that thing changes into a fact 
so by by the basic you saying theory of evolution it means it's an hypothesis no it is not yet the thought there's it's not yet a fact there's a difference between hypothesis and theory a theory is something in science that has the highest honor when something gains the word theory it's fact the theory in in theoretical terms it's the theory of gravity but we don't say we just say it fact it's oh, same way sorry, we say the fact of gravity fact sorry what is the theory of what gravity if you say it in theoretical terms but it's no the theory of gravity it's a law of gravity. i'm sorry law. i'm sorry it's the law of evolution i'm sorry your knowledge of science is very weak it is boyle's law it is not boyle's theory it is archimedes principles it's not archimedes theory whatever is theory when it becomes a fact it changes into law i am sorry your knowledge is so weak and i wouldn't like to continue your knowledge you is so weak my question, i am sir. not here to teach 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 in the audience yeah in the question answer session you ask a question i give the answer if you like it you keep it if you don't like it you throw it Okay just the thing is that if a knowledge sir. is so weak you're saying theory is the highest thing in science i'm sorry you're absurd i'm a medical doctor theory is the highest thing in science if I'm someone very can sorry brother if someone I'm can disprove brother i'm very sorry theory is never the highest thing in science if you think just because they're going to university they're coming to fool the people here i'm not i'm totally sorry theory if it becomes a fact and if the theory becomes a law it may reach a high standard but theory by itself it's a theory it's a hypothesis once it gets converted it becomes a law it becomes a fact newton's law it becomes a fact it becomes a law i'm sorry to say that by itself it calling it a theory means it is not yet an established fact the heart pumps blood is it a theory or is it a fact it's a fact no the proof. theory of heart pumping blood hey, theory of heart pumping blood now No, if I'm if I'm going to teach you English language here, I feel you are wasting the time of the people. Surely, if you can't understand simple English, that what is the difference between the theory? That theory is the highest thing in science. Then I'm sorry, you have to go back and learn science. What about the evidence, sir? We would like to uh, because uh, you know the uh, as we have already learned the uh, question in and of itself is uh, not uh, qualified to be. Uh, it's a theory <laughs> so we would like so we would like to give the opportunity to a more uh, qualified question inshallah and we will uh, ask from the ladies section inshallah if there is any lady who has uh, theoretical question uh, from the non muslims of course we'll give preference to and that's what the quran says that we believe in the theory of creation not in the theory of evolution the theory of creation not the theory of evolution what's well, so up family get down in the comment section let me know what you think about this video uh i just feel like i don't know let me just tell you how i feel i feel like it's a lot of people that come and troll if y'all don't know what troll means troll means like it's it's when you come and try to poke fun without and but have a serious face like you know your intent was to come and sabotage something you know your intent was not to really like his intent was not to really come there and ask a question and get an answer his intent was to come there and basically try to make a fool out of Dr. Zucker Knight try to become a meme try to go viral try to that was his that was his whole point of coming up there you can tell in his face no i'm a muslim uh, i'm an atheist ex muslim you, you can tell by looking at that kid or that guy or whoever that is that little kid you can tell by looking at him you can tell he's mischievous like he just wanted he just wanted attention he wanted to go viral he wanted to just be able to say oh yeah i i stumped dr zakanai i asked this question he got mad and honestly i feel like dr zakanai shouldn't have walked off because that basically gave him the power that gave him what he wanted he wanted an action like that he wanted whether dr zakanai to yell at him to cuss or to do something and and he did it so i feel like dr zakanai shouldn't have walked off i felt like dr dr zakanai should have just asked him you know that question let me answer it in private let's go ahead and go to another person so because of time that probably would have been the best way to answer it and he would have left over and then dr zakanai could have had his one on one with him cuz i'm pretty sure they could he could have got his answers just that he was trying 
You were just trying to troll, man. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Otoa. Please get down in the comment section. Let me know a video you want me to react to. And also, let me know what you think about that video. And remember, guys, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Otoa family. And before you leave the channel, put a like on this video. Remember, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Why? Because I post videos every day. So please take care. Stay safe. What?